Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jill, otherwise known as the Enlightened Target, and this channel is devoted to narcissistic abuse awareness and recovery, parental alienation, complex post-traumatic stress disorder, and anything associated with those three main topics. Today we are going to talk about the narcissist and how they think and feel about sex and intimacy. If you have been in a relationship with a narcissist, I don't have to tell you that their understanding and meaning of sex and intimacy seems to be and feel quite different than how you believe it should look and feel. And that is because their definition and ours tend to be very different. So today we are going to explore how different the meanings really are and why that is. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell because I put out new videos every week. If you are interested in narcissistic abuse recovery coaching, please visit my website or send me an email. Both are linked in the description below. Also, be sure and watch the video until the end because I'm going to explain if a narcissist is actually able to make love to their partner or if they just view sex as sex no matter what. Usually when we think about sex and intimacy between two people who are in love with each other and are in a relationship, the words that come to mind are loyalty, love, trust, closeness, honesty, respect, and happiness. When we think about an intimate relationship with someone, we usually think about both people in the relationship. We tend to view sex as an act that is mutually rewarding, meaning both partners receive something positive from it and that it is relationship enhancing. When narcissists think about intimacy and sex, words like power, domination, ego, influence, manipulation, and control come to mind. The narcissists tend to view sex as personally rewarding and self-enhancing. In other words, for us, sex is usually more about we, and to the narcissist, it is much more about me. It's important to understand that narcissists do not view other human beings or relationships like we do as an individual entity with thoughts, needs, and desires all of their own. Instead, narcissists tend to view other people and relationships more like an asset or a car or a toaster. They, they view people in terms of how useful they are to them, how they can benefit personally from this person or from this relationship. And when it comes to intimacy and sex, their views are no different really. They, they view sexual partners as objects, that they are there to satisfy their needs for pleasure, status, and power. We tend to view sex as a mechanism for enhancing relationships, and narcissists tend to view sex in terms of personal gratification. We tend to think of sex as a vehicle to increase the emotional intimacy, and narcissists tend to view sex as enhancing their own physical pleasure. Now, to some degree, the approach they take to sex and intimacy will depend on what type of narcissist they are and if they're male or female. However, all narcissist worlds revolve around gaining narcissistic supply, and sex is usually about gaining narcissistic supply also. It can also be used as a tool to manipulate the other person and to get what they want, specifically for the female narcissist. If it isn't being used to manipulate the other person, then you can be sure the narcissist is only focused on their pleasure. But the bottom line is, there is one person and one person only that the narcissist is concerned about when it comes to all things, including sex, and it ain't their partner. Now remember, in the beginning of the relationship, the narcissist is love bombing their victim. So in the early stages of the relationship, the sex might seem amazing. Most times it's an intense experience. Um, the narcissist may seem very connected and focused on you. 
but give it some time and the cycle of abuse will kick in and it will contaminate the bedroom activities as well. Many times after the love bombing stages are over, the narcissist will become distant sexually. They very well could use sex as a weapon to punish you. Um, sex might become completely mechanical and one-sided. Lots of my coaching clients comment that they feel completely objectified during sex and like the narcissist doesn't even acknowledge that they are a participant. Sometimes the narcissist will um, demand sex every day, no matter how horrible or abusive they have treated their partner that day. They feel um, that this is something they are entitled to have every day, no matter what. It's just a, it's a requirement that you have to fulfill as a matter of duty to them. It's rather nauseating when you think about it. And What's even worse is that it doesn't bother the narcissist in the least. Most times they haven't given your feelings any consideration. They are solely focused on themselves and their needs. It's also very common for the narcissist to cheat. Remember, everything is about gaining narcissistic supply, including sex. So if they have the opportunity to cheat and they believe they won't get caught, chances are nearly 100% they will do it. There are quite a few narcissists that develop um, full-blown sexual addictions. I hear from my coaching clients every day how they have been cheated on with prostitutes, friends, co-workers, and even family members. I know of narcissists that have left their spouse and the mother or father of their children for one of their spouse's relatives. These people have no shame. They don't feel empathy for their partner. They don't experience regret or guilt. And that is what gives the narcissist the ability to do the things that they do to other people. They just don't care about the collateral damage that they do to other people, their spouses, or even their own children. Narcissists have blinders on and the only person they give any consideration to is themselves. I have been asked many times if narcissists have the capacity, or the, the ability to make love. Sometimes one of my coaching clients will tell me that they swear that the narcissist has been that connected to them during sex. And I think this is such a relevant question because the answer is yes, they do have the, the capability to make love only to themselves. When there seems to be a deep sexual connection for the partner of the narcissist, it's not for the reasons that you think it is. For narcissists, most everything is a tool or a tactic to manipulate their victims with the underlying goal of extracting narcissistic supply. So on occasion, the narcissist might seem deeply connected to the victim. However, this is just another form of love bombing and mirroring. The narcissists are, are acutely aware of what the victim wants to feel and believe from the narcissist. So they will participate in such a manner that the victim um, responds intensely. This serves two purposes, to get the victim even more bonded to the narcissist as well as, and more importantly, mirrors back to the narcissist the image of perfection of the false self. So if it feels as if the narcissist is making love to you, the reality is they are interpreting your reaction as a reflection of themselves. So the truth is, in their mind, they are connecting and making love to their perfect self. Okay, that's going to do it for today's video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Also, follow me on Facebook and Instagram. The links are in the description below. Thanks for watching.